Hello, I'm Nadia Nogueira and I'm here with Carrie Mulliter. She's a regulator, Canadian immigration consultant, and we'll be talking about the Express Entry Program. Thank you for being here with me, Carrie. Um, the Express Entry was launched on January 1st and has been on for being in effect for a while now. Um, for those who haven't applied yet, could you give us an idea what this program is all about? Sure. Uh, the program is about the way that applications are processed for three types of applications. First is the federal skilled worker, federal skilled trades, and the Canadian experience class. Um, with the express entry having higher points would increase the chances for someone to be selected. Now, we always had a point system. And what has changed and what is different from what we had before? We still have the point system that was in effect before. Uh, that was under the Federal Skilled Worker Program. We didn't have it for Skilled Trades and Canadian Experience class. But right now someone will need to qualify with the minimum 67 points out of 100 to meet the criteria for Skilled Worker. In addition to that, they must score points under Express Entry. So the Skilled Worker points come first, then the Express Entry points. Um, we had our first rounds of draws and a number of people were invited to apply for permanent residency. What can you tell us about the selection process? The process is based on the number of points that a person scores based on several factors including their work experience, education and language abilities and that of their spouses. So every month the government takes people who score the highest number of points and issues them something called an invitation to apply. When a person receives the invitation to apply, they're able to submit their application for processing under express entry. Okay, and how long will it take to process the applications for those people who were invited to apply for permanent residency? The government is saying that it's going to take approximately six months for processing, although what I suspect is going to happen is a decision will be made on the application within six months but it will probably take about an additional six months for the security, medical, and background checks. I see. So when the government announced about this program, some people had questions or concerns, for example, how this program will work, how people will apply. Um, I know that it's been a couple of months now, it might not have a clear um, idea, but in your experience, have all those questions been addressed? The main questions have been answered for people in terms of the process that needs to be done. However, the technology the government's put in place to do that still isn't working properly. So applicants are required to register for what's called the job bank, which is where their information will be available to different organizations who might wish to hire them. And the job bank system is not up and running the way it should be. There are also some technical problems with people putting their profiles online for express entry and, for example, being told that they don't qualify when they do. So there are definitely some glitches that need to be worked out. I see. Um, and for those who weren't um, chosen in the first draws, there's anything that they can do to increase their chances to be chosen in the future draws? In order to increase their chances of being selected again, the people can either wait for the next draw, in which case the threshold for points may be lowered depending on the total scoring for the applicants that are in the pool, but they can also increase their odds by gaining further work experience and further education and also improving on their English language scoring or their French language scoring. I see. We hear a lot of stories of people who come here, they got jobs, they settle down and then they sponsor their families or their partners to come here. Will this be affected if they applied through the express entry? Can they apply as a family? Yes, people are able to bring in their spouse and children as part of the express entry program. Once they become permanent residents, they're also able to sponsor if their spouse and children have not been included in the initial application. At that point, they'll also be able to sponsor parents and grandparents. Let's see, um, What should people be aware of when completing their profiles online in terms of information they'll be giving since the CIC will be verifying those information. What people can do to make things better in terms of the verification is to make sure what they put down is accurate and true. 
because anything that's in the profile will, as you say, need to be verified. And people need to have the documentation to back that up. So for example, their language results and their education credentials should all be assessed and the assessment numbers put into their express entry profiles should be accurate. I see. Is there anything else potential candidates need to keep in mind about the express entry? One of the things people need to keep in mind is that once someone is issued an invitation to apply, they have 60 days in order to submit their permanent resident application. And it's taking time right now to get the documents together to put in that type of application. So what I suggest is that when people enter the express entry pool, they also complete their application for permanent residence. Even though they're not submitting it then, it will be ready to put in if and when the invitation to apply is issued. Okay, thank you for being here and for all the information that we share here today with us. You're welcome.